look you. Turn in your eyes. Genesis chapter 30. We're going to talk about the power you have for creation. Say, I have power. I have power. To create. To create. Now, creation means that you possess the ability to see what is not evidently apparent. Create it in your mind and then call it into being. So it uses the components of your faith and your imagination, your image nation, so that you have the ability to create. God did it in the book of Genesis. He stepped out on nothing and he said, let there be and let there was. Mm -hmm. He formed and called forth out of the image on the canvas of his mind. And when he spoke it, the earth responded to his words and formed everything that he said out of his mouth. Mm -hmm. Is that what happened? Yes. So we see God using his words and using, we know now the spirit of God are using Jesus Christ, the spirit, the word of God to form, create and shape everything that we see. The Bible explains it this way, that the things that are made are not made from what we see. They're, they're made from invisible things and only brought into manifestation, but they existed before they were manifested. Yeah. Just like you and I, we existed in God before the foundation of the world. We were only manifested in time, for time, for a purpose, and we're going back to God. When we get back to God this time, we will be a word, we'll be in the word called the body of Christ. Yes. Does everybody see it? That's creation formation. So when we look at Genesis chapter 30, I want to speak to you briefly this morning on, the, on how God demonstrates the way sheep reproduce. I want to talk about the way sheep reproduce. In Genesis chapter 30, I'm going to be reading, I'm going to start reading at verse 30. When you get it, say, I love the word of God. I love the word of God. I didn't do an overhead this morning because it's communion and I want to make sure we have enough time to do those things that we need to do on today. Verse 30, for it was little which thou hast before I came. And it is now increased unto a multitude. And the Lord hath blessed thee since my coming. And now when shall I provide for mine own house also? Now we're entering the text with Jacob talking to his uncle Laban. And we know the story that Laban had been just as much of a trickster and supplanter as Jacob himself. And so everything that Jacob set out to do, Laban had a scheme and a plan to interrupt it so that everything flowed his way. Right. He tricked him with the marriage. He told him he could have Rachel, but, we got, but deliberately forgot to tell him that Leah had to be married first. Mm -hmm. So he just put Leah in there without his consent. Right. And, and that caused Jacob to be... Um, eager to work another seven years to get what he really wanted. Right. Tell somebody, don't settle. Don't settle. <laughs> Hold out for what you believe in God for. Hold out for what you believe in God Oh, Lord. Because you see, Jacob could have said, well, okay, if this is the way it is, and not going forward and say, oh, no, I want what I really want. What do I need to do? Uh -huh. And he was willing to work that extra seven years. Mm -hmm. Now, he gave him Rachel, I think it said like two weeks later, but that's, it still wasn't the same excitement right. as it was around getting the, red, the wedding ready and having the party. You know all the excitement that leads up to having a wedding. Does right. everybody see that? Right. But, and he still was faithful to work those extra seven years. And now he's saying, I have a family. I have two wives. My wife, is, uh, Leah, has been bearing children. I'm ready to set out. And establish myself. I want to go back 
be reconciled to my brother because I hurt him, I offended him the way I left. I'm not sure I'm going to meet him in peace, but I believe if I come with an offering, he'll receive me. And so far, everything has been leaning your way. So far, you're the one, you're the one that's been blessed. So far, you're the one that has increased till now you have become a multitude. That's what Jacob is saying to him. And he said, you